this is a three-way UPVC connector, as you can see, uh, the three outlets. Uh, it is made uh, out of uh, joining an elbow and an additional outlet. So let's go through the process and see how we can bring it to this uh, finish. And uh, let's start from our template here, which is uh, 11 to 50. Accept. Then I'll set our environment to plain white. Now I'll start drawing from the top plane. Uh, and the diameter for this uh, profile is 32 on the outside and on the inside it is uh, 25. So first of all, I want to draw the the line that marks the inner boundary or the middle line in the in the elbow so this line is a construction line and do another construction line going downwards vertically So I'll offset this line to 16 millimeter. Yes. I'm going to join these two points using a three point arc. And the radius of this arc is 16 millimeter. From here we can see that our diagram is fully defined. Make sure that this length here is the right length. So I'll smart dimension it and this one should be 24 millimeter. So is this one. Twenty-four. Accept. So using that sketch, I'll do swept pass and choose circular profile, and this is our profile. And the diameter is uh, thirty-two with a thin feature of uh, three point five. Yes. And let's check the direction and make sure that uh, the direction is right. Yes, yeah, so that is the right direction. So we accept that. We now want to produce the third uh, way out. And I'll choose the steel on the top plane. Uh, sketch on it. I want to draw a circle here. And this circle is just for construction. So. I'll pick a circle and say it is for construction. And first of all, I'll draw it here, diameter 32. Okay, this circle is for construction. Accept. Now draw another circle here using this one. Sorry, uh, from this point, we draw a circle on this point. Yes, coming to this one. Accept. And also, this circle is for construction. Uh, we shall proceed to insert a plane. So, exit out of this first. Then insert a plane. So we have the top plane. So I want to insert a plane. Okay, uh, we can see the plane. It's there, parallel to top plane, and I want it at distance forty. 
40 being uh, 24, 24 which is this section, then half of uh, the inner diameter which is 12.5 plus wall thickness of 3.5, that gives you 40. So I'll accept that. Then I'll want to sketch on this plane. So I'll draw a circle diameter 32 from this point coming to there, that is 32, and draw another circle of diameter 25. Accept that. Then what I'll do is uh, having this two, I'll extrude both. And yes, it is asking, I'll extrude up to surface. And the surface to select is uh, this one here. All right? Then accept that. And you can see we have our feature there. So from here, we shall take our plane and sketch on it. And I want to draw a circle on that plane. Diameter 25. Circle. Uh, choose that point. Come here. We draw it. Then using this circle, I want to extrude cut. And I'll choose up to next. Then you can see what it has selected. It's a boundary between uh, itself and the two which are below, or rather the elbow which is below. So I think we are right to go, so I'll accept. And you can see that the hole has been made. It has been nicely cut uh, and the profile is looking good. So essentially that is a process. I'll proceed to apply some finishing on it. So we take the plastic medium gloss I try this color. Yes. And that is our three way connector. Let me take a make this a normal. I want to take a cross section. And that is a cross section. You can see it there. Maybe I pull this one out a bit so that we see it coming. You can see the hole there. Uh, as I move that, as it closes backwards. All right, so the connector is there. We are now going to create ribs uh, at these junctions here and this one. So I'll start from the top plane and the top plane is giving me this one here so I'll go ahead and uh, draw a line construction uh, from that point to somewhere here and another line from still for construction to here Dimension this line as five units. And this one also we dimension it as five units.
then I join these two points from here to here. Okay, so we use that to do our rib. So I'll go to rib and reverse the direction. So uh, flip, flip the material. Then uh, the thickness is uh, four millimeters. Uh, then accept. So there we have it. This is our three-way connector. I hope you've enjoyed watching the development of this uh, connector. And uh, thank you for your time.